Okay. You got it. Next is the movies, a comedy about a middle-aged freshman who don't get no respect. <laughs> His name Back to School, and it stars Rodney Dangerfield in his best role yet, a role that comes the closest to combining the Rodney that we know and love with a good story and some good direction. In the movie, Dangerfield plays a wealthy retailer who decides to drop out of a rat race and return to college as a freshman. He wants to help out his son, who can't get into a fraternity and is only the towel boy on the diving team and, in general, don't get no respect. Here's a scene that explains how Rodney gets the university to accept him as a student. This is an awkward moment for me, Mr. Mellon, since I realize you're a highly respected member of our business community. Thank you. You're welcome. Our student body here is hand-picked by me from the creme de la creme of students all across this great land of ours. That's one of the things I like about this place. Yes. The point is, though, since you have no high school diploma and no transcripts of any kind, no SAT scores, and you're 30 to 40 years older than our average freshman, how can this university ever see its way clear to accept you as a student? Mr. Mellon, uh, will you take the ceremonial shovel? Thank you. And dig into the symbolic dirt. I hereby dedicate this building to myself. <laughs> Rodney's approach to undergraduate life is like a guy who walks into a bar and buys drinks for everyone. What's with the used books? What's wrong with used books? They've already been read. Yeah, and they've already been underlined, too. Get it? That's the problem. The last guy who underlined him, he could have been a maniac. Hey, get these guys some new books. Uh, get some new books, will you? I'll tell you what, charge you to me, too. Okay, here, pick a card. And I'll tell you, I'm taking four of those school sweaters, a bunch of pennants, some of those beer mugs, a few of these fuzzballs you cheer with, and... Hey, folks, it's on me. Shakespeare for everyone, okay? <laughs> Dangerfield discovers a few aspects of campus life he can really identify with, like English professor Sally Kellerman. Sally kissed me under the Moorish wall, and I thought, well, as well him as another. And then I asked him with my eyes to ask again, yes. And then he asked me, would I yes to say yes? my mountain flower and first i put my arms around him yes and drew him down to me so he could feel my breath all perfumed yes and his heart was going like mad and yes i said yes i will yes 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 <laughs> <laughs> the plot in back to school has a lot of familiar ingredients in it like the uptight dean and the crazy history professor and the campus jock who looks down on everyone but what it also has and what i like the most about it is a lovable character for rodney dangerfield to play he gets to use all of his patented one-liners and insults and put-downs, but at the same time, he's a sweet guy who thinks attending college shouldn't be any harder than selling slacks. My favorite scene is the one where he takes the class in business management and he tries to make a few helpful suggestions about the real world of kickbacks and payoffs. I was surprised how much I liked this movie. I wasn't surprised because I like Rodney Dangerfield as soon as I see him on camera. As the mm -hmm. camera hits him and I start to laugh. What amazed me is that it worked within this setting because you would think that the last person that you'd want to go to school is would be one of your parents. I mean, you'd be freezing up, you couldn't, you, you wouldn't enjoy it. But if this guy were your dad, school would be a lot of fun because he's a he's a blast yeah. and he mm -hmm. has this whole, you know, uh, I'm an immigrant, I made him millions of dollars. Let's have a party. Life mm -hmm. should be a party. And he's absolutely irresistible on camera. The character is beautifully written, beautifully played by Dangerfield. It's a ball. I had a terrific time. It's also uh, interesting because there's a very good screenplay here. It's yes. not just Rodney Dangerfield and his one-liners. Yes. Obviously, the person who wrote this screenplay knew something about going to college, knew something about English lit. They take the, that scene where she's reading from Joyce's uh -huh. Ulysses is very beautifully is done, and he is moved. And there's a certain genuine feeling to yes. go along with the comedy. And all through the movie, there's a genuine emotional basis for the jokes, which helps to make them make them play better. This make is a good one. Better. Good acting, good writing. 